Am I my brother's keeper? Really ask yourself that question. Am I my brother's keeper? In this world we're living, it's a different story, I gotta tell you. We're so indulged with iPhone, iPad, Android, and basically our six figures that we forget about reality and just think about us. We're not really into helping others as we did before. It's not really an urge, a commitment, or an understanding. We have so many situations in our lives whether it's affecting our co-workers, our family members, our loved ones. Let's face it, they're all going in situation right now. Losing a loved one, a job, facing cancer, debt collectors, we name it. But are we really out there for them? Are we really giving a hoping hand? Do we really touch your shoulder and tell them it's going to be all right? No, we don't because we only worry about ourselves. And that's really what's happening in our society. It's really going to crumble in the next year or two if we don't really shape up and ask ourselves, are we really our brother's keeper? Let me tell you a little situation what happened to me on Friday. I was at the gym 24-7. I mean 24 fitness at Monterey Park in Atlantic Square. So basically, I was working out after I worked out. As my car's in the garage, I see about five to 10 security guards right there blocking the garage and telling the whole crowd that you can't go down to get your car. For one, there's a fire and it's actually burning two cars. What's going on in the crowd? Everybody just Baffled. They're just looking at each other and asking himself, is it my car? Ask the security car. Is it the Honda Civic? Is it the Mercedes Benz? This is the Lexus. You name it. Nobody's really looking at the victim who actually lost his car. Two cars, actually, two victims. And I can see the victim right there next to the security guard crying in tears. It's basically an older, elderly man, Hispanic guy, maybe in his 50s. And I could imagine what's going on in his life. It could, it could be his commute to get to work or drop his kids, or basically help an injured family member. Who knows what his situation is, but basically he's, he's baffled. He's in a situation where he don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. And all I'm thinking in my mind is, man, if it was somebody out there, can go up to the gentleman and basically give him a hug, shake his hand, or just give him some empathy of what he's going to. Maybe help him get him a ride back to his house or help him get contact with his family members, whatever the situation is. But no, everybody is out for themselves. It's a selfish world we're living in. That's not how we're gonna be functioning. It's not gonna be good. So what I suggest you do is basically is think out of the box and ask yourself, am I my brother's keeper? If not, why don't you take the first step? I mean, let's take let's face it, Skid Row, there's a bunch of missions out there. That everybody needs a little help, a little a little community service, a little feed the feed the feed, feed the homeless or whatever you call it, and or be some type of volunteer and help somebody out there. Or maybe it's happening with your family members that, that need some type of therapy or hope or just, uh, just basically some type of sympathy. I mean, really, it could happen to any of us. The sky's the limit. Tomorrow never promised. You never know what's gonna happen. So just keep that in mind and just help each other and let's become one again. And if you guys wanna check out more of my inspirational stories and much more, how you can actually inspire your mind, inspire others, I definitely want you to check out my book. It's called Live For Your Dreams. It's actually on my website called www.inspireyourmind.org. Till then, I want to thank you guys for watching my show. And if nobody loves you, remember, Manny V always loves you. Peace.